Welcome to Rapid Reviews. Like and subscribe below. The categories are story, acting, directing and editing, visual arts, and other technical arts. Then we give you an overall score. Today's Rapid Review is on Safety Not Guaranteed, currently streaming on Netflix, something we saw years ago. I don't even remember where. <laughs> For the story on this one, the plot, the writing, I gave it a 9, mainly because it kept me guessing. I didn't know what kind of movie this was. Was it a comedy? Was it a romantic comedy? Was it a suspenseful thriller? Was it a science fiction? I had no idea. I had no idea. It kept changing on me, and I loved it. <laughs> I gave it a 8.5. There was just a little bit of, uh, I wanted a little bit more, but it was a really good story. It kept me guessing. So what's the underlying premise of this movie? Well, they're in a, what is it, a room where you get together and you try to figure out what you're going to do for the conference news. Room. Yeah, you're in a conference room. That's the place, <laughs> but it's a... What's that thing called? Morning meeting? <laughs> Not a, it is like a morning meeting, but it's when you're working on stuff, a brainstorming oh, session, yeah. sort of, yeah, but yeah, like, yeah. oh, what do they call it? We call them war rooms um, in the military. What is it called? I don't know what it's called. I have no idea. I'm brain farting entirely. I would call it a morning meeting brainstorming. <laughs> okay. <laughs> They're in a room. That's the point. They're in a room, these journalists, and they're trying to figure out what to write stories about. Well, this one guy has an idea. Let's investigate a classified ad because it's a very interesting classified ad. And it says, wanted somebody to go back in time with me. This is not a joke. You'll get paid after we get back. Must bring your own weapons. I have only done this once before. Safety not guaranteed. That's the classified ad they decide to investigate, and it's, I don't know, it's its just a roller coaster after that. Acting. For acting on this one, there's a lot of grade A talent, kind of before they were grade A talent, but they still had talent. I gave it a 7.5. Very interesting character development for the a-hole guy. I don't know, I the, the weird girl from Parks and Rec, and I can't remember her name all of a sudden, but the weird girl from Parks and Rec, I like her in everything she does. Because she's weird. I gave it a 7. I felt like like the Parks and Rec girl, I feel like you kind of see her in those same roles. But the Kenneth, the main character that put out the ad, I thought he was he did a really good job. Spot on. And the, the a-hole guy. Um, you know, the, the a-hole character. Oh. The character's name was Jeff. And I, of course, can't remember the actor's name. But he's in a lot of other things. New Girl... Um, Stump Town, he plays the bartender. That guy. Yeah, I do really like him. I'll put it in the description. Directing and editing. I gave this one a... What did I give this one? I gave it a 7. Really? I gave it a 7? <laughs> I guess I gave it a 7. I think I would have given it a 6.5 or a 6 because... You know, the pacing wasn't really there, but at the same time it kept shifting gears on you. So I guess that's... A choice. It's not really a fault. So yeah, I get, it gets a seven. I was right. I, <laughs> I usually am. I gave it a six point five. I felt like the pacing was a little off, and I don't know if that was direction or editing. Anytime you've got odd people, it throws the pacing off. It really does. It does. You know, if it was a suspend, and you don't know what kind of movie it is, so you don't know how to judge it. Because every type of movie has a different type of pacing. Mm -hmm. So maybe I'm just confused. That's all. That's it's just typical. an oddball. She called me an oddball. No, I said it was an oddball. <laughs> I'm sticking to my story. Visual arts. This was low budget. A low budget, interesting kind of movie. The, the sort of thing you might see in Sundance. I gave it a six. They did well with what they had. I gave it a six. Same reason. Technical arts. Exact same score, exact same reasons. Same here. She's sticking with it, too. <laughs> sticking with it. Overall, I gave this movie an 8. Now, I know some of these scores kind of average out to lower than that, but hey, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the movie. I enjoy movies that keep me guessing. Now, this is nothing like Party Monster. Is it Party Monster? I think it's Party Monster with Macaulay Culkin and, and the Fez guy from that 70s show. 
That movie kept me guessing the entire time because I was waiting for a sane moment. And it never came. As soon as I thought it was starting to get sane, it did not. Uh, this movie, as soon as I thought it was a certain type of movie, it changed directions again. And again. And again. It had other redeemable qualities. The characters were fun. The story was interesting. I had a lot of fun with this one. So it got a higher score than its constituent parts. I gave it a 7. I, I felt like the story was very interesting and the characters were interesting and that's what kept me into it and was wondering what's what's the ending going to be like? What is this? Where is this going? It kept me going. I kept watching. It will keep you guessing till the last minute of the movie. For me, it's a, uh, yeah, definitely go out there and watch. Me too. Watch. <laughs> I guess one and a half. I'm going to drop the thing if I do two. <laughs> There it goes. <laughs> I guess we could have done this, you know. Mm -hmm. One, one. Bye, y'all.